Handyman, the most beautiful and powerful Flutter solution to launch your on-demand service platform faster and cost-effectively. And in this video, we'll take a walkthrough of one of this app, which is the Admin app. And it's an add-on that you can get separately. And it is made for the platform owners to keep track of their business from anywhere. So let's start. So when you open the admin app, the first thing you will see is the admin dashboard where you can see your booking details, service details, then the providers and many more stuff available on this dashboard. So firstly, we will go and open our total booking option. So when you click it, it will take you to the page where you will see all the bookings done on this system. And there is a filter like in the other apps where you can search for the completed bookings and it will show all the complete booking list. And when you click on one of the booking, it will show all the complete details like the time, the provider, the handyman, the customer, then extra charges and also the price regarding the service and the payment details too. And all the information of this booking. And if you click on the service, it will show the detail regarding the service also in it and when you click on check status it will show the booking history how the booking was done and all that stuff and going back to our dashboard so our next option is total service it will show all the services that are available on this system in provider app it only shows the services that that particular provider provides but in this it will show all the provider services and if you click on any of the service it will give the detailed information regarding that service like the, the name then the amount and the address and all that stuff and you can also edit this detail as this is a demo so it is not allowing me right now to do any changes in it and the next option that we have is total providers so it will show you the list of the providers that are providing services through your system you can also update the provider names and all that stuff when clicking on any of it and you can just change it if you want when you are practically using the app and you have also option to delete it or force delete it or restore the data and the next option we have is the earning if you click on it it will show all the earnings that are done by different providers into different sections and if you click on the information it will show the amount that the admin get the provider get and all the separation of that payment and below that you will have the option to pay out so if you click on it the admin will get his cut from the provider now the next option is for the pro new providers where you can see all the new providers which are added into the system and if you click on view all it will show the total list of the provider then if you click on any of the provider you can change their information from there then the next option is from the new booking where it will show all the new booking pending bookings are available at this list and if you click on view all it will show all of them so the next option in the dashboard is the job request list where it will show all the job requests that users have added in this system if you click on them you will see the whole list and if you go in any of it and it will show you all the details like the name and the price estimate and also the bid that is done by the provider now the next option is new user it will show all the new users who have joined this app and if you click on view all it will show all the users available at the system and if you click on any users you will have the option to change the name and all that stuff for that user and you can also delete or edit them too and you can save it then from the sidebar menu we have other options like the category so the first option where you can see all the categories and you can edit them however you want by clicking on it and you will have the option to do the changes you can delete them and restore them just like we can do in any other stuff then the next option we have is to add a new category where you can add the category by just giving name and all that stuff and from the category list you can do that and there is a separate option to add it category too so you have two different ways to add the category then the next option is service so in that service you will see all the services available in the system so if you click on any of it you will see the details and you can also edit them and in this service there is also option that is the add service so you can add any new service that you want by giving the details regarding that service and just click on save so the next option we have is the provider and in that the first thing is provider list so if you go on it it will show all the providers which are available on the system and if you click on any of it it will show the details of them and you can edit that details too 
then in the provider the second is the add provider where you can add new providers into the system by giving that details and the next option we have in the provider is the pending provider where it will show the pending providers that have to be added into the system if there is a request to be added and the next option in the provider is the provider type where you have two different options right now added which is the freelancing and the company here you can activate or deactivate the type of provider you need if you are looking for that provider then you can activate it and if you are not then just deactivate the option you can also add different type by just clicking here and just add the information and save it then the next option we have is the booking so here it will show all the booking just like it is shown in the dashboard you can have the filter for it you can just make it completed and you can also see the information if you are clicking on anyone and then uh, the next thing is the handyman so the first option is handyman list where it will show all the handymans which are available on the system or not available it totally depends on the handyman you have all the options to edit them delete them or whatever you want to do with them then the next option in handyman is add handyman so you can add new handyman by giving their information and details in this page and just click on save and it will be added to your list and the next option that we have is the pending handyman you will see all the list of the handyman which are pending and the next option in them is the handyman type list where also you will get the same uh, types which like freelancing and the company which were in the providers and if you have any other type then you can just add it here and all other settings are similar like the providers type and you also have the option to add a new type so you can just do that from here now the other option that you have from the sidebar is the users where you will see all the users available onto your system and if uh, you want other settings then again go to the dashboard and here you will see the payment option where it will show all the payments done by the user and it will show the details of them and the next thing is the packages where it will show different packages if there are any packages available from your site and you can also add different packages if you want so the next settings is the document and in that first thing is document list where you can add different type of document options if you want the bus book of the bank if you want the other card or whichever you have this option you can also activate or deactivate them from here if you want your provider to provide this information and you can also have the option to add new document from there only now again going to the sidebar in the documents you have the option to add a new document from here directly so you can do that too now the next settings is the coupon so here you will get the first thing is coupon list where you will have all the list of the coupons that are valid in your system and you have the option to activate or deactivate them here and you have and there is also written the discount amount and the expiry date of that coupon and you also have the option to add a new coupon here and again in the coupons you also have the option to add coupon directly from here rather than the list so you can give the information and add a coupon from here and the next option that is earning so in the earning it will show all the provider earning just like in the dashboard and here you can see the separation of the earning how it will be separated and then the other option is the settings where you will get push notification settings where uh, you can give the title and select the type of the notification and save it and then the other settings that we have is app settings so in that option you get multiple options like for the language you can change the language of the app then the app theme which is from light to dark or this set default and there is other options which are optional you can edit them if you want and then we have about app where you will see the privacy policy term condition help support and many more option so you can just check them out there and then there is raters and there is a share app where you can share the app if you want with anyone and then the final thing that we have is to log out if you want to log out this app you can just click on there so these are the functionalities that you get in the admin app and now is the perfect time to start your on-demand home service platform with handyman